Hey, and welcome to this video for Invisible Browsing VPN. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of Invisible Browsing VPN, and we're going to demo some of the features that it offers. So if you're not super familiar with VPNs, basically what they do is they hide your IP address. And your IP address is what tells everyone on the internet uh, where you are located. So if you're trying to appear as though you're browsing the internet from the United States or somewhere like England, uh, connecting to a VPN can help in those situations, and we'll look at some of those situations in this video. Now while you're watching this video, feel free to click the link in the description at any time. It's going to allow you to try Invisible Browsing VPN for free for six hours. You'll have access to the full version and you don't have to put in a credit card to do this. And if we scroll down here, you'll be able to go to the download section where you can download uh, the software onto your machine. Now I have the Windows copy installed, but there's also a version available for Mac. And it's also available for iOS, Android, there's a Chrome, Firefox, and Opera extension as well. So you can click on any of these links to download the software on those platforms. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Here's the software for Windows. And keep in mind that in this video I'm going to be using the Ultimate Package. So I have subscribed and I have the full version of the software installed on this machine. Uh, so the features you're going to see are respective to the Ultimate Package. Now the first thing you'll notice when you log into your account is the very simple interface here. At first you're going to see that it's going to say not connected. So I'm not currently connected to any VPNs. All you have to do is click on this connect button to connect to a VPN. And you can see that by default, by just clicking on the connect button, it's going to connect you to the fastest possible server. Now once you're connected, you can see here that it's going to give you this message here. It shows that you're connected to the VPN. And now you're able to browse the internet securely. So again, there's a number of different reasons that you would want to connect to a VPN. Number one is security. And the best way to keep your information safe is by protecting it with a VPN connection. When you're browsing the internet and you're going online to different websites, all of your information can be compromised, but if you're connected to a VPN, all of your information is securely protected from the outside world. So here you can see that now that I'm connected to this VPN, it also tells me some information about uh, where it would appear as though I'm coming from. So here you can see the IP address that I'm going to show. You can even click on this check IP button if you want to, to check your IP address. Uh, but you can also see that it shows that I'm currently uh, coming from Dallas, Texas. So for example, if I lived in the UK and I connected to this VPN, it would appear as though to others in the outside world that I am browsing the internet from Dallas, Texas. So let's go ahead and click on this check IP button. This is just going to redirect us to xmyip.com, which allows you to check online your IP address. And it does verify that, in fact, my IP address publicly shows as what the software is showing and that I'm coming from Texas. So that brings up another point. Another way that you might want to use a VPN is to be able to access certain content that's not available in certain regions. For example, there are many websites that only offer services in the United States. And so if you live in England or Germany or somewhere outside of the United States and you want to access that content, you can connect to the Invisible Browsing VPN and you'll be able to browse that content without an issue. So one good example that comes to mind is Hulu. If you're browsing the internet from anywhere outside of the United States, you would not be able to access that if you live uh, outside of the United States. So by connecting to this VPN here, and since it shows that I'm coming from Texas, you can watch Hulu in any country that you like. Now since I live in the United States, of course I can't really show that test, because I could go ahead and access Hulu whether or not I'm connected to the VPN or not. But let's go ahead and open up the software again. And here I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the network. Okay, so I've disconnected from the VPN, and now the next thing I can do is click on this little tab on the left that says Servers. Now I can scroll through here and you can see that there are a number of other different countries that I can select. And so with the Ultimate Package here, you can see that not only can I connect to VPNs in the United States, but a number of different servers in other places all around the world. So let's do an example here of browsing to a website that you could only access in the UK. So let me open up my web browser again here. Okay, so here I'm at bbc.co.uk. And you can see here, this is a good example of where we might want to use our VPN. So here you can see that it says that because I'm not in the UK, I would not be able to access this content. Now let's go ahead and open up our Invisible Browsing VPN and connect to one of these UK locations. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these and then click on connect. And now you can see that I'm connected. If I look down below, you can see that it shows I'm connected to the UK. It shows I'm coming from London. It gives me my IP address. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new window. And I'm going to go ahead and go to that same website in a new window here. Okay, and so now you can see here that instead of loading that message that we saw before where it was saying that I could not access the content because it's only available in the UK, I now have the options that you would have if you lived in the UK. Now this is just an example again to show you some of the things that you can use this VPN for. But there's really a limitless number of ways that you can use this VPN. Alright, so let's look at a few other features here. Uh, there's a kill switch option that's available within the software here. So if you click on the kill switch button here, you can see it gives you a little bit of information about what the kill switch is. And the kill switch is actually very handy uh, because what it does is it actually kills applications uh, that are running if the VPN drops. So for example, if you're uh, downloading something and you want to make sure that your information is secured, but then the VPN disconnects, then you can kill the application that's downloading that file or, or whatever you're using. Uh, that way you don't accidentally download a file and compromise your information, your IP address, etc. So there's a number of different ways that you can use it, but you can go ahead and click on the Add Running Process button to add whatever processes you want that uh, feature to apply for. Another feature here, if we click on the IBDNS button here, you can see it gives you a description here at the top. So this IBDNS feature is actually an even better way that you can uh, access things like that BBC site that I showed you earlier. So you can see here that what it's doing is it's redirecting DNS traffic uh, so that you can access restricted media services. So this can be used for things like Hulu and BBC, just like I mentioned before. Uh, it'll just prevent you from having to uh, connect to the VPN. So you can use either of these uh, options to connect to different media sites. Uh, again, you can use the VPN service itself to connect to any site that you want. As long as you're connected to the VPN, it's always going to keep your information secure, so you don't ever have to worry about uh, your information being compromised. And then finally, if you look in the left-hand side here and click on the support button, you can see here that you can either send an email to the company at any time if you have questions, or you can even open up a ticket. So my personal opinions about this software, I think it's a fantastic uh, VPN client. Probably the easiest one that I've ever used. Uh, it's very easy to just go in here and just connect to a VPN very quickly if you're just looking to secure your information. Uh, and it's very easy also to uh, connect to these different servers here. Uh, and it's very fast as well. So many VPN services that I've used in the past, uh, you can wait a pretty good amount of time when you're trying to connect to the services, but uh, this one seems to be pretty effortless and pretty quick. And you can see here too that not only are you being able to connect to these different uh, countries, but you get multiple VPNs for these countries. Uh, the UK itself has uh, a pretty good number here, uh, Germany, so you can see that there are a ton of different VPNs uh, for all these different countries, which makes it really great if you're looking to access content from different countries, or even if you just want to mask your IP for a specific country. So again, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, I do have the ultimate package, so let's go ahead and look at the different options for uh, plans that you can subscribe to. If we go to the main site here, we click on see free and premium plans, you're going to be able to look at a uh, breakdown of the different options that you have here. So if we scroll down for 483 a month, you can subscribe to the Ultimate VPN Package, which gives you the VPN, the Smart DNS, and proxies. Obviously this is the uh, solution that I would recommend that you subscribe to, and also the monthly price is pretty good, but I think it's a better deal if you go with the yearly plan, which is $58 uh, roughly per year, which is a fantastic uh, price. So when you compare this price to other providers, uh, this $58 a year is actually probably half the price that I've seen from other providers who give you literally maybe a third, if not less than that, of the number of different connections and the number of different countries that you can actually mask your IP address to. So it's a really, really great offering, really, really great value. If you're someone who likes to torrent, VPNs are great for that. It's going to secure your information and hide your... Um, IP address whenever you're downloading torrented information, whatever it might be that you're uh, downloading online, file sharing. So if you're interested, you can of course go on the site and look at the comparison here between the four different options at any time. If you do subscribe to one of these services, you have 15 days to get your full money back. So even if you do subscribe and you decide that for whatever reason 
you don't want to continue paying for the service or you don't want the service, uh, you have 15 days to get your full money back. So really to me there's no reason not to subscribe. If you're someone that wants to protect your information online, someone that likes to download files and torrents online, uh, someone who likes to browse different media sites from countries maybe that uh, you don't live in, then this is probably going to be the best solution for you. So that's just a quick look at some of the many great features of the Invisible Browsing VPN. If you click on the Features tab here on the main site, you can see that you can see even more of the features uh, that make this service really unique and special. Now make sure to click the link below the video to try Invisible Browsing VPN for free for six hours. So for that six hours, you're going to be able to use the full features of the Ultimate Package uh, without any limitations and there's no credit card required. So if you're interested, go ahead and click that link so that you can try out the service completely free. But that's it for this quick look at the Invisible Browsing VPN and some of the great features that it offers. Thanks for watching this video review and demo and have a great day.